the book of Luke. Luke chapter 19. Luke chapter what? 19. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. And verse number one coming. Do I have somebody who have the NIV Bible? They can put it here. We can see. Pastor Rick, you have the NIV? God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, who has the King James? American Standard? Shout hallelujah. We have different types of what? Bibles. Shout amen. Thank you, Jesus. Lebahagazaka brosikita kasaka. Sheprosikita. Read, please, from verse 1. Uh -huh. Jesus you, you can sit down. Uh -huh. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by Look the at this. of Look at this. Chaos. You you will continue, please. Jesus entered what? Jericho and was passing through. And was what? Passing through. What is the meaning of that? It means that Jericho was a what? A transit. Shout hallelujah. That was not the place Jesus wanted to. But he was just passing through. And a man, a powerful man called Zacchaeus. Shout hallelujah. And that man was in what? Jericho. He said, a man was there by name what? Zacchaeus. Of Zacchaeus. Can you see it? He was a chief task collector. Can you see it? Shout hallelujah. And Jesus was passing through. <laughs> Everybody shout amen. 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 And a man named called what? Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus. Pastor, continue. Hmm. And a man named called Zacchaeus. Uh -huh. He was a chief tax collector uh -huh. and was wealthy. I want you to underline wealthy. The man was rich, filthy rich. Mm -hmm. He wanted to see who Jesus was. Look at this. Look at this. He wanted to see. Who Jesus was. But because Hold he was on, short. I'm coming, please. Have you thought about this before? He wanted to see who Jesus was. What is the meaning of that? This man, Jesus, that you have been talking about. I want to see that man. Not wanted to see so that he will give his life to Christ. But he wanted to see. Who Jesus, that if that man called Jesus is a, a light-skinned man or dark or tall, am I right? I, I want to see that man. I want to see him. So it means that Zacchaeus have a different perception. About Jesus, I want to see that man. They have been talking about that man. And I want to see him. They said that man is powerful. I want to see that man. I heard that the man prayed for uh, cripples and they started walk, walking. I want to see that man. They said that the man raised the dead. I want to see that man. And because the man was short, the word of the Lord said that that man strategically positioned himself on top of, of a what? A sycamore what? And said that I want to position myself so that I can see that man. There is no way I can see that man. I know that me, Zacchaeus, there is no way. Because of my inabilities, am I right? But I will strategically position myself so that I will see Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Church number one. 
He wanted to see Jesus. And number two, he positioned himself on top of a what? Of that tree. And said, I know that this is the place that man is passing. Shout amen. 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 This morning, I am here to announce to somebody that Jesus is passing by. But if you and I strategically will position ourselves to a place Jesus will see us, I want you to know that today salvation shall be yours. Shout hallelujah. I believe that there were so many trees in uh, 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 that place. But how come Zacchaeus strategically positioned himself on that particular tree? Because that is the same place Jesus was passing. He said, let me position myself. Everybody shout hallelujah. Number one, I want to know this man. And number two, let me position myself. We have so many believers. Everybody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. We have so many Christians. This end time church. They want to see Christ. They want to see the manifestation of the Messiah. But we have already positioned ourselves on a certain wrong tree. Church, when you position yourself on a what on a wrong what tree, do you know something? There is no way you will see Jesus. That is the reason why so many Christians this end time we have been complaining, I've been serving God, I pay tight, I do this, but I can't see this. Strategically, you have not positioned yourself on the right tree. But I prophesy to you, by the time I finish the service, if you can position yourself on the right tree, you shall see Jesus. Everybody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I say you shall see Jesus. I am here to announce to you. Do not allow the sayings of others become your sayings. I didn't hear amen. I said do not allow the sayings of what? Others become your what? Your sayings. Because what others see is not what I see. Why? Because I have positioned myself on the right tree. Maybe the one that is complaining has already positioned himself or herself on the wrong tree. So why do you have to allow their story become your story? Everybody shout hallelujah. I prophesy to you today, you must get out from that wrong tree and come to the Everybody shout hallelujah. Shout glory be to God. Engineer, please watch it for me. The devil is working here. Let me tell you this. It's a frequency. I don't want anything to cut it. Look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor, this is your time. Your hour and your season. Look at somebody and say, you must right now move from that right tree and come to the uh, wrong tree and come to the right one and you shall see Jesus if I'm prophesying to somebody shout hallelujah everybody shout amen shout glory be to God let me tell you this this 2017 the month of May <laughs> do not let the things you know some people they have been complaining they have been talking have been serving God Church, what about you I can't complain. I cannot insult my God. I cannot mock my God. Why? Because I have already positioned myself on the right tree. Everybody shout hallelujah. Church, when your pastor, when your leader positions himself on the wrong tree, as a church member, you will suffer. But glory be to God that your leader have the spiritual eye. Because when the leader positions himself on the right tree, all the members will also come on the right tree. 
that is the reason why you cannot fail that is the reason why you cannot lose the battle that is the reason why you cannot die on timely that is the reason why poverty can never swallow you alive that is the reason why you have to have a testimony I profess to you today that we are on the right tree and the tree is called the sycamore tree I have preached about this way. So many preachers, they have preached about Zacchaeus. But I want to take you to the third dimension today. And for you to understand this. Everybody shout hallelujah. Church, do not allow anybody eh, to pull you down. Do not allow anybody to discourage you. If you know that you are doing the right thing. But when you are doing the wrong thing, you better change. We have some stupid people, excuse me, on this end. When they are doing the wrong thing, and when you try to stop them, they say that no way, no one can stop me. You will die. In life, you need somebody that can tell you that where you are going, you are going to die. You better stop. You need some people like that. Not some people that will lift you up. They will buy your untimely coffin. Everybody shout hallelujah. Everybody shout amen. amen. I am speaking to somebody. I said I am speaking to somebody today. And I believe that that person is you. If you believe that shout hallelujah. Shout glory be to God. Zacchaeus was very short. How can I see Christ? There is no way I can see Christ. He could have allowed himself for those things to what? Pull him down. But he said to himself. With all the limitations and the boundaries and so on and so forth, there is no way I will allow those things to put me down. I must see Christ. I want to know who that man is. I want to see Christ. Shout hallelujah. I want to know because I've heard about that man. Not I want to know because I want to give my life to Christ. I want to know that man. Shout hallelujah. Today, the question right now is, you want to know Christ, am I right? But listen to me. Christ has something for you more than what you want to see. Amen. Christ has something more than what you want to see. Christ wants to give it to you. Zacchaeus wanted to see him. But Jesus has something that is more than seeing him. You want to see Christ. That is the reason why you and I, we are here. We gave our life to Christ Jesus. But let me tell you this. Christ has something more than what you want to see and what you want to know. He has something more than. And by your moving with Christ and walking with Christ Jesus, you are going to see it. If you will continue to hold on unto him. Shout glory be to God. Am I speaking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? This 2017, do not allow anyone to tie you down. There is no way you can give excuses in church to yourself and say that, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that, you know, because of this, because of my inability to see, because of this and this and that. There is no way, church, you cannot. You must see Christ. And he positioned himself. And what happened? Pastor Rick? But because he was short, he could not see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed the Look at this. Field. Look at this. Look at this. Look at somebody and say, This morning, this morning, you must go ahead. You must go ahead. You must run ahead. You must run ahead. Shout hallelujah. Okay, I want to see Christ. I want to see Christ. I want to see that man. I want to see that man. I can't see that man. And he ran ahead of what? Of them. He ran ahead of them. That I don't want these people to become like what? Hindrance. I have to go before them. And let me position myself on the, this what? Tree. And I know that I will see Jesus. And I know that strategically, this is the place that man, there is no way that man will turn to left or right. The man will pass this area. And let me position myself. 
Everybody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout amen. amen. Church, listen to me. Those who doesn't want you to see your Christ and to see your breakthrough, do not sit down and cry and, and fight them and insult them. You must go ahead of them. Leave the place for them and go ahead of them. I said, leave the place for them. Those who have been fighting you, talking to you, that you have been doing so many things, leave the place for them and go ahead of them and you shall meet Christ. Everybody shout hallelujah. Everybody shout amen. It means that Zacchaeus tried, am I right? And couldn't see what? Jesus. And he said to himself, I must go ahead of them. And position myself. Church, whether they like it or not, Restoration Chapel, we will go ahead of them. Whether they like it or not, as a member in this church, you will go ahead of them. Those who doesn't want to see your Messiah, you will go ahead of them. You have been crying for far too long. It is time for you to wipe your tears and begin to go ahead of them. You've been complaining for far too long. Enough is enough. Every day in and day out. Oh, these people, they don't want me to see. Oh, these people. So what do you want to do? At times, you don't have to fight them. You have to just leave them and go ahead of them. It happened to Isaac. The time Isaac dig a world away, am I right? The people started fighting Isaac. The time of Abimelech. Everybody shout hallelujah. And Isaac left it and went to another place. They said that this one, Isaac left it. And Isaac said, lo and behold, Look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor, we serve a wonderful God. Look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor, we serve a great God. Church, are you ready today to go ahead of them? If you are ready, shout hallelujah. Shout amen. Continue. So he ran ahead of and climbed with the sycamore fig tree to see him. Since Jesus was coming that way. Look at this. Since Jesus was coming what? That, that way. way. So it means that Zacchaeus positioned himself in a what? A strategic what? Place. That he can see Jesus. Since Jesus was what? Coming that way. Uh -huh. When Jesus reached the spot. Look, uh -uh, look at this. Look at this. Oh. When Jesus reached the spot, what is the meaning of the spot? Huh? That particular word? It means that Zacchaeus positioned himself at the right spot. When Jesus reached the spot, today, Christ Christ will reach the spot. Today, Christ, Christ, the son of the living God, will reach the spot. Where you are, Christ will reach that place. And when Jesus reached that spot, what happened? He looked up and said to him, Ah, look at this. When Jesus reached at that one, Spot. He looked up and he said what? He said to him, Zacchaeus. He said to him, look at this. He said to him, when Jesus reached that spot, he looked up. When Jesus reached that spot, he looked what? Up. What is the meaning of that? Ah. ah. There is no way if someone wants to see me, the person will do what? Uh, 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 and to see me. This one is abnormal. So it became too obvious. 
So Jesus said, no, there is no, I can't, I don't understand. For somebody to see me and to position himself on top of what? Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, calm down. Immediately. Read. Zacchaeus, calm down. Zacchaeus, calm down immediately. Look at it. Jesus said that. Zacchaeus, calm down immediately. I must stay at your house today. Look at this. I must stay at your house today. The people that were close to Jesus, that they saw Jesus, that they touched Jesus, Jesus did not or didn't even what? Go to their house or to stay in their house. But the man who climbed the world, the tree, Jesus said, I come down immediately. Today I must stay in your house. Shout hallelujah. Church, look at me. This end time, Christians, I want to tell you this. The way you and I we seek for Christ and serve him, church, is not enough. Our Christian life has become like give and take. God, give me money first and I will serve you. God, I needed a child and you didn't give me a child. I am leaving the church. I needed a husband and I didn't get any man. I am going. This end time Christianity is like that. In the olden days, disciples pray for the anointed but not mansions. In the olden days, the prophets pray for the oil and fire but not cast. Do you know the reason why some people they are rushing, excuse me with due respect, and pastors stealing church money? When I steal church money, I will die before my time. Do you know the reason why? Because Ed, may God forbid, lawyer Carlos has a, 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 excuse me, stomach problem, Let, far be from you. And we pray over it. Father, my stomach, oh, this pains. Oh, Lord, this pains. Oh, may you heal me. And Joe, oh, Lord, my jaw, my jaw, my jaw, may you touch me. How about my head, my head? Stella, oh, my feet. Uh, what? Tell him, answer, oh, my nose, my nose. And we put it. And the pastor will put his hand and put it in my pocket. I am taking your jaw problem, your nose problem, your leg problem. Your leg. So, uh, 20 years from now, all your wahala will come upon my neck and tough you up. Everybody shout hallelujah. Look at someone and say tough you up. In Banu. Do you know the reason why? The reason is that this, it, it has become in the form of competition type of spirit. This one is using range over. And because of that, I want to use range over. Is it the time for you to use range over? Elijah the prophet told Gehazi that is it the time for you to receive Ozion, camels, and you can name it? Is it the time? It means that there is going to be a time that Gehazi can get everything, but it wasn't the time. You must wait for the appointed time. So somebody will look to left and right and will not see anything and will put a whole thing in his pocket. Stella Martinson, come here. Where is Emmanuel? Come. It was which year? Last year. Last year. Am I right? Do you remember last year the direction that came? About thousand or thousand, two thousand something with olive oil yes, yes. that people came to the office. Yes, yes. This man kept the, uh, the envelope about a year now. It's more than a year. And I was in my car, came with the same oil that he took from me. 
was me and him alone. Alone. And I told him, come to office. Let me anoint you. And drop the thing. When you brought this money, I called who? And I said what? She should, she should come and take it. I said, Emmanuel came to me <clears throat> while I was in my car and pledged uh, last year, gave it to me. Please, I'm going to pray for him in my what? My office. After that, you must come and what? And take the money. And take the money. Yes. Yeah. Thousand two or something, which I can put in my pocket. Yeah. It's me and him. Yeah. I'll give my wife 400 to buy a clean fish. <laughs> and I will, uh, uh, I will use the 800 or something in my pocket. But is it for me? No. Emmanuel has prayed though. The Lord made you touch me. So when I put it here and go and chop, I am chopping his word. Wahala. So madam, get the money. It's not for me. Everybody shout hallelujah. So before your God, between you and your God, you must always be faithful. God sees everything. What is thousand two or thousand or something? That I will break the relationship between me and my God. My God big, is bigger than thousand dollars. So God will test you about your faithfulness. And when you continue and continue and continue, one day, one day, one day, God will open powerful fortune, mighty doors, than for you to do petty, petty things and to hinder your blessings. Everybody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. That is the same way pastors have to do. Amen, Amen. That is the same way church members Amen. has to what? Do. It's about a year now. And the guy didn't bring. Who knows what that time the man, a imam, was going through. And this time, in my car, and I will put it in my pocket. Is it for me? No. Everybody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So, Mrs. Onafo, after this, don't come to me. Your woman has already taken the money. Uh, minister, uh, what? Minister of Finance, Stella Martinson. Everybody shout hallelujah. Look unto your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. Faithfulness, faithfulness is the key. Everybody shout hallelujah. Can I tell you something? <laughs> Faithfulness eh, can cause your God to reward you big. Faithfulness. It can cause your God to what? To reward you big. Faithfulness is the key. So always be faithful to your God. Amen. It will be between you and your God. No one will be there. But you have to know that there is somebody who is watching. Everybody shout hallelujah. People are suffering. Somebody is going through something and will keep something, $5, $10, $15, something, and we'll gather them in the whole thing. And one man, I'll be sitting. Stella, bring out the offering. Uh, let me chop. Uh, you can see me. We will use it for the things of God. Amen. Everybody shout hallelujah. Amen. That is the reason why this place is a fertile ground. Because when you sow a seed, you will get it back. It doesn't go to somebody's stomach. We use it for the things of God. Amen. Look at somebody and say, faithfulness, faithfulness. is the key. Is the key. Continue to be faithful. Amen. Pastors must be faithful. Amen. Pastors wives must be faithful. Amen. Women of God must be faithful. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Pastors must be faithful. Amen. This same time, I beg you, some pastors, they, they steal money. Africa is rampant now 
but here because of the checking, checking thing, but at times they can maneuver their ways. I told my wife when I came, a certain young guy started the ministry. Come and see. Money, 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 money. I went home, I think uh, last year, saw the guy, uh, somebody's funeral, the guy came. Prophet, I won't allow you, Papa. You have to give me something before you go. And held my shirt. I was moved. I said, Pastor Jay, the first name Jay, I said, Jay, leave me. Let me go. No, Papa, you have to bless me. You have to bless me. So I gave him something equivalent to like $100. I said, take it. It has been, Papa, lay your hands on me. I said, no, I won't pray for you, but serve God with good heart. Repent. I've heard that you have been doing some things. Oh, Papa, I used to, but the guy can prophesy, can tell you everything which is ditto, ditto, right, but the guy didn't live what right with God. They didn't have good relationship with God. It's a gift. The gift of God is irrevocable. Yes, 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 yes. That is the reason why the word of the Lord says that in that day, many will come to me and say that we use it. And Jesus will tell them, I don't know you. You can use the name of Jesus, but Jesus will not know you. But for me to use the name of Jesus and he will not know me, I am wasting my time. I would rather use his name and for him to know me. So that that day he will tell me, Frank Jomo, a good servant, here come your results. How can I deceive myself and waste my time preaching to you whereby I know that I don't have good relationship with my God? Ah, no way. I will be like Joshua. That is said that if everyone leave Christ and put Christ somewhere, God somewhere, I and my household will serve the Lord. Do you know that? The guy said that, oh, prophet, I will do it. I said, be careful. I don't want to mention full name, you know, because of the media. I said, Jay, be careful. Oh, prophet, no. I went to, when I went to for the, our revival, one of the pastors came to me. So that, you know that Pastor Jay died? I think 28 years or so. Either 28 or 32. Went to revival, finished the revival, went to, uh, into his room, started complaining about headache, headache. 28 or 32. Unfaithfulness can purge the way for the enemy to attack you. Stealing God's money, doing things, choir women, choir masters, eh? like Alfred and Paul. Or the choir this thing in this room. Huh? Huh? I will just go on my knees for three days. I will fire you from to touch my daughters. And you these girls too. Enjoying other guys outside and moving up and down. Live holy. So that when you come and sing, it will reach heaven. You have been kissing wrong mouth. Let me continue. So what happened to Zacchaeus? So he Zacchaeus, came down at once. Zacchaeus immediately month of July singers I will usher you guys to seven days fast month of July and that same month of July Pastor I said I write it down that I will teach those who have their businesses I think we have your names already 
If you have your business, you want to open your business, bring your name. God wants me to, uh, you know, lead you onto the right path. Because it's a month of perfection. And you guys will enter till it is dry. I'm going to do with you guys. We will come here. And by the time we finish, you guys will move as never before. If you know our singers, the way God has blessed them, church, you have no idea. They are powerful. They sing good. The hand of God is upon them. Shout hallelujah. It's powerful. I saw Willie uh, Mike or something in Holland, Amsterdam. Came to me. Papa, are you going to the States? Me too, I'm going to Ghana. Papa, your, your children, they are pa- the way I said, yes, I know. I heard about everything. So I wanted to pray for me. I said, airport too. <laughs> airport. I, I can't re- recognize it. I said, where is Willie or Mike? He said, Mike is around or checking, you know, doing eye shopping. Papa, pray for me. Airport too. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. <laughs> Allow me to take my anointing to enter the plane. So that when I see any malam, I can bind that mal- <laughs> malam. Eh? So when I release the anointing on you and see any beer, how can I <laughs> bind that person? Because we live in the dangerous world now. <laughs> Do you know that very soon you can't travel with your laptop? They have already. And listen to me, this is not prophecy. The way things are going soon, your phone. When you are coming from Ghana, you have to have Ghana phone and have Nigeria phone and American phone. You can't travel with your phone. How can you call your wife, your loved ones that you've arrived? Because those people want to put bomb now. So let me use the little anointing I have. So when I see any malam with Allah, I can bind. Don't take that anointing. Let me. Shout hallelujah. I saw one with a black dress and tied the forehead and only the eye. I said, today is today. In this plane, it will be wahala. Shout hallelujah. But listen to me. Listen to me. Do not be afraid. If God doesn't want you to die with plane crush, the plane will crush and you and your entire family will survive. Nothing will happen to you. Do not be afraid. Look at somebody and say, do not be afraid. The day I was sitting in a plane and pray that will not see my place, my destination, that same day I will get down. I will tell them to allow me to what? Yeah, it has been part of my life. I close my eyes, Lord, protect me straight to Washington and I will see Washington and I will stop praying. No matter the turbulence, something, something, sister land, auntie land, all of them, I will survive. Everybody shout hallelujah. Look at somebody say turbulence, sister land, auntie land, all of them, <laughs> Franjumo land, I will survive because the Lord is with me. If you believe that shout hallelujah. I, I must speak to somebody. Shout hallelujah. And Zacchaeus. Jesus said that Zacchaeus, I want you to get down immediately. And today I will what? I will stay in your house. Church, look at this. (laughs) We have a man, a powerful man, that will not force himself into your house unless you permit him. He is a gentleman. He has given you your willpower. Do whatever you want. When you allow him and say that, Papa, come in my life, he will come. If you will not allow him, he will not. He is too busy. He first told Zacchaeus that come down immediately because today, are you ready for me to come to your house? If the Zacchaeus could have said that, no, I won't allow you, Jesus could have. 
but went to the house of Zacchaeus. People started talking. Is that not the one who said he's holy and now eats with uh, 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 sinners? Look at this man. He said, you are holy man. That is the spirit of Pharisees and Sadducees. They will stand somewhere and complain and tell something uh, and tell you about something whereby they themselves, the things that they are talking about is the same thing that they are doing. That's the spirit of Pharisees. It's hypocrisy. And what happened, Pastor Ray? So he came down at once and worked on his Listen gladly. to me. Today, if you and I will come down at once, something wonderful will happen. He came down at once. Uh -huh. And welcomed him gladly. Welcome him gladly. Uh -huh. All the people saw this and began to mutter. Uh -huh. He has gone to be the guest of a sinner. Uh -huh. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now I give half. Look at this. Look at this. Look people. at this. Look at this. When Jesus went to the house of who? Zacchaeus, people started talking. Whether you like it or not, always people will talk about you. But you have to master it. People will gossip about you. They will talk about you. They will do so many things. But try all possible means to work to master it. And verse 1. Zacchaeus said verse what? Verse 8. Verse 8. Zacchaeus said what? Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord. Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord. Look at it. Look. Look at it. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord. Look Lord. Uh-huh. Here and now I give Look half at this. Of my here, possession. here and now I give half of my possessions, possessions uh -huh. to the poor. To the poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times. I the will amount. pay back four times the, the amount. amount. Uh -huh. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. When Jesus says, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. Today I will stay in your house. Jesus didn't utter this word that today salvation has come to your house. Look at this. <laughs> and Jesus is the Savior. Am I right? Jesus is the what? The Savior. And for the Savior to come to your house, what is the meaning of that? The Savior went to his house. And Jesus didn't utter any word that today, Zacchaeus, you are safe. Salvation is yours. Jesus waited until Zacchaeus said that, look, now, if I have cheated somebody, taken something from someone, I want to... Everybody shout hallelujah. I want to double it, am I right? And make it four times. And give it back to the person. Then Jesus said. That today. Salvation has come to what? To this house. This house. Look at this. Jesus didn't preach to Zacchaeus. And says that he else repent this and this and that. Jesus said that today I want to stay in your house. And Holy Ghost arrested Zacchaeus. And Zacchaeus stood up. Jesus didn't touch Zacchaeus, but it was the working of the Holy Spirit. And he stood up and said that Papa Jesus, today I promise. That I am going to give it back four times. And I want to divide my what? My possession and give half to the poor. Then Jesus said, Today 
Salvation has what? Come to this house. Come to because this of this house. Man. Because of this man. Uh -huh. Because this man too is a son of Abraham. Because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the son of man came to For save the For the son seek. of man came to, to seek. seek to, to, the, save. to save the lost. The lost. Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, I will divide my. He said, I will what? He said, I will what? Divide, am I right? My possession and I will give what? Half. Possessions and I will give half to the poor. The poor. Church, we must always help the needy Amen. and the poor. Christianity is not the matter of wearing your suits, putting the best clothes. Hallelujah, how are you? You are going to be rich. Hallelujah, amen. Praise the Lord. I am rich. I am this and that. No. What about the poor ones? Because Jesus said that there will be always the poor among whether you like it or not. But the one thing that you have to do is that you must refuse yourself to become to be what to be poor. Because those people that Jesus said that there will be always what poor amongst us, you and me, man as us. I have to be rich so that I can help the the poor. Does it make sense to somebody? Look at somebody and say you have to be rich so that you can help the poor everybody shout hallelujah church those who doesn't have it you must bless them those who doesn't have gas you must help them if you have it those who doesn't have food you must help them at times you can come to church after the service you can see somebody you know the body language will tell you that this lady doesn't have, don't call the lady and say, in the name of Elohim, the God of Frank Jemma, may you receive and release the big, big English, please, from uh, uh, Oxford Dictionary. I beg you, the person's answer is in your pocket. Bless the person. $20, it can touch the person. Everybody shout hallelujah. He said, I will give half of my possessions to the world to the poor. And now Jesus said, now salvation has come to this house. Shout hallelujah. Somebody who is out there suffering, church, that person is like you. The same nose you have is the same nose. The same ears, the same feet, the same finger, everything. Shout hallelujah. The things that makes you to become superior than that person is you have a place to you can take shower. You can wear nice things. Apart from that, excuse me with due respect, forgive me. You pee and the person pee. The same body. The same blood. So why don't you support that person? Everybody shout hallelujah. In those days when we talk about Christianity, if this man of God doesn't have a shoe, and suppose if I have and give it to this man, this man will wear the shoe and come here and dance. But this 21st century Christianity, this man of God will not wear. Because I've already told no less than seven people that I'm going to give him a shoe. And the day he will wear that shoe and come and dance, everybody will know that it's Franjima who I've already received my re, uh, uh, reward. But if you can give without left seeing that right is giving, the one who sees the secret thing, the one who knows the secret thing, will reward you. But this end time, this 21st Christian uh, century is not like that. You can give dress to somebody the lady will not wear. Because you've already made the announcement. Can you see the one, uh, Amy, is where I'm the one who gave. Can you see the one, uh, Victor, uh, I gave, I bought it from Nima Marcus. And so what? Your God will reward you. 
Don't give something to somebody and go and announce, hey, my sister, come here, come here, come here. Chileke, you people are suffering. No. You remember that lady, that lady who always sit at the corner. That there was a time prophet prophesied about that. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Oh, that light skin. Yes. Hey. Guess what? After the service, she came to me. Said, her sister, can you give me $20? Hey, look at all the dress and the Gucci Gucci thing. <laughs> Charlie, people are suffering. Why? 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 The person confined in you. Told that there is no way you will share with anyone. More members and put everyone aside and came to you. Why don't you keep it? Where do you have to tell someone that I gave her 20, I gave her 10, and so what? You've already received your reward. Good word, good word. May the living God today lift you like Zacchaeus. May the living God today, the one whom I serve, take you onto the higher dimension. May your life never be the same. In Jesus' name with thanksgiving. May you be on your feet. Look at somebody and say, this morning, my dear sister, my dear brother, position yourself in the right place. As Zacchaeus did. And salvation, breakthroughs, mighty things shall be yours. Everybody shout hallelujah. Look at someone and say, do not allow the things that you can't do pull you down. You can do better than that. You must put all of them aside and climb the tree and you will see mighty things. Go ahead of them and Jesus will see you. Position yourself at the right spot and Jesus will see you. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. Shout amen. There are some things you and I, we can learn from Zacchaeus. You have to learn those things from that man. And your life will never be the same. The man could have said, that, how can I see this man? Let me go home. There is no way. Let me go home. But he said that I want to see him. What can I do? I want to be taller than everyone. And he became what? Taller than everyone. Because the man was on top. You can be taller than everybody Amen. if you and I can climb the what? The tree. Position yourself. This 2017. And your life will never be the same. Everybody shout hallelujah. Shout glory be to God. Touch your heart.